Did you know that 85% of jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't been invented yet? Yet every year, 11 million young Africans enter the job market with no prospects of being employed. In addition, employers complain that African higher learning institutions are not preparing students for the market. The African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, founded in 2003 by Professor Neil Turok, is working to change this narrative. We're here to build a knowledge ecosystem which will impact the whole of society from changing the life chances of kids to sparking innovation in industry and placing Africa on the leading edge of discovery. Our mission at AIMS is attached on our commitment to leading Africa's socio-economic transformation, a vision which we bring to fruition by equipping our youth with the necessary skills for tackling Africa's challenges. The AIMS model is unique in a couple of distinctive ways. Firstly, we have a Pan-African student body with scholars for 43 African countries. Secondly, we have a well-thought-out teaching model adapted to the needs of our students. Every year, we welcome visiting professors from top universities and research labs from all over the world. These lectures are supported by AIMS tutors made up of our recent and soon-to-be PhD holders who live on campus with the students, providing capacity building and creating a 24-7 learning environment. Lastly, AIMS offers students opportunity to meet and interact with role models. So we leverage networking and public engagement opportunities to afford our students opportunities for personal and professional development, as well as leadership growth. With centers in South Africa, Senegal, Ghana, Cameroon, and Rwanda, AIMS has graduated over 2,200 students from 43 African countries. At least 30% of our alumni are women, and over 70% of all graduates remain on the continent post their education at AIMS. In 2018, we launched the African Masters in Machine Intelligence program, the first of its kind in Africa at our campus in Rwanda. AMI is a one-year intensive program. It will provide brilliant young Africans with state-of-the-art training in machine intelligence and its application. It will open the doors of world-class research and building new technologies. There is a revolution going around the world and about machine intelligence. So I wanted to be part of this revolution. The lecturers and those who will come are experts in the domain. They are coming from around the world. They are coming from Google and Facebook and this is also, I wanted to take advantage of the experience of those experts that will come and use it as a springboard for my future projects. Our lecturers come from top universities and research labs from around the world. 49% of our alumni are working in the top 10 sectors, including education, ICT, finance, trade, engineering, energy, data science, and others. We are living unprecedented times and the COVID-19 pandemic has pushed entities and individuals around the world to readjust the way they live and work. So rather than perceive these changes as restriction, we apprehend them as opportunities, as avenues for the new kind of disruption, which AIMS is exploring by readapting our model to accommodate distance learning. We are equally readapting the practical phase of our cooperative education program by implementing remote work placement with the support of our industry partners. The students of AIMS that are doing internship with us, they have been very helpful to us to work first with the data engineers for the, uh, the data extraction. The analytics around the data that we have in place can be eased Second thing was to come up now with uh, the creating the dashboards that we can now use even after they go, they go 
and we can still have that dashboard with us. And the last one was now to create a kind of a prediction and they give us some insight on loans, channels. We learn the value of giving and helping others and to contribute positively to the development of our communities, our nations and the continent at large. In addition to running Africa's largest network of centers of excellence in mathematical sciences, it aims we do leading research in the areas of climate change, data science, cosmology, pure mathematics and mathematical biology. With over 100 researchers in our network and 500 papers published in leading journals since 2008, AIM's output is one of the highest per capita of any institution in Africa. What I do is mostly modeling the atmosphere or the climate with past data and compare it with current situation that we are in and to project it into the future. Because I want to know the changes in the climate and how they are going to affect us in the future. The ambition of research at AIMS is to catalyze human progress in Africa and beyond through the creation, translation and dissemination of knowledge. The reason why infectious diseases like COVID-19 spread very fast is because if somebody gets infected, they infect more than one other person. And that person infects more than one other person. So the disease grows exponentially in the population. What we have done um, is develop a method that can improve the capacity of countries to test massively and regularly at lower cost. And when you do that, then you can quickly stop new outbreaks from spreading within the community and eventually cause the disease to disappear. In addition to running six research centers across Africa, AIMS wants to create technologies of the future. We created the Quantum Leap Africa Research Center, a high-level interdisciplinary research program focused on data analytics, engineering, smart systems, and quantum science, best in Rwanda. QLA is planned to be Africa's first globally recognized research center of excellence. QLA has two complementary goals. One is to develop expertise in the understanding of data, information, the thing which is taking over society. The second equally important mission of QLA is to prepare Africa for the next revolution after this one. That one will be quantum. In 2013, we were challenged to respond to gaps in the pipeline of the education system. So we created a gender responsive teacher training program in Cameroon and Rwanda. We are working with other stakeholders and other partners to ensure that our teachers from Africa can gradually improve their teaching practices to make them more innovative and more contextually grounded, but also, and very important to us, more gender responsive. Our overarching goal for our teacher training programs is that we want to see an increase in the number of girls and boys who take up science courses in their post-secondary education. But we don't stop there. AIMS is propelling Africa onto the global scientific stage through the next Einstein Forum. The next Einstein Forum believes that Africa's contribution to the global scientific community are critical for global progress. NEF Global Gathering position science at the center of global development efforts. In the presence of scientists, including Nobel Prize and Field Medal laureates, political and industry leaders, civil society and media, and with a strong focus on youth and women, the voices of global science leaders have the opportunity to be heard, to chart a way forward for Africa's scientific future. Through all our programs, AIMS is committed to recruiting and retaining female scientists by empowering them to do great research, highlighting their contributions to science and addressing the barriers that prevent them from attaining their full potential. Retaining women scientists in STEM fields is the top priority for AIMS. AIMS apply a hard quota of at least 30% in recruiting top female talent to level the playing field for women. Our teacher training program in Cameroon and Rwanda is training teachers to tackle cultural attitudes 
and stereotypes that push girls out of science. Our Skills for Employability program in Senegal supports women-led businesses and industry partners to improve their organizational culture through specialized gender training. And we also have prestigious women-only research chairs. AIM students and staff benefit from regular gender inclusion and diversity training, as well as mentoring and access to strong women role models to encourage paradigm shifts.